Hello everyone, my name is Adas Patel and you are watching Adas Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 8 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with PDU. So guys, in last tutorial we successfully designed this category page from here. So in this tutorial we are going to working when someone uh, adds something from here by click this button. So that will be coming directly into our cat uh, table into the database. So how can we do that? So let's start. Before we start, uh, if you don't subscribe my YouTube channel, just go and subscribe this YouTube channel by clicking subscribe button. Just because when I upload the new videos, then you can get the direct notification into your inbox. Also press the bell icon. So now let's get start. So I'm coming here index.php now here I'm going to create one another page with the PHP select all select the PHP tag here you know I'm going to create uh, press control plus s to save this page and I'm going to save this page with the function dot PHP we create all the function inside this page okay so remember that one so for that reason we directly create this one here okay so inside INC, I'm going to save this function page here. Okay. Now we need to call that function page into our index file. So header is uh, available in all pages. So I'm going to add that uh, function page from here. So include double quotes INC slash function dot PHP. Okay. So I'm going to save this file from here. So now I'm going to create one function for creating function is the syntax of here function and give the function name add cat just because we are going to add in category. So this is the syntax of this function. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, first of all add a database file from here. So I'm going to again use include tab include and include function and then and this last db.php. Now what should be happen when someone click on this uh, this button add category button so first of all we need to find out where is the that button so here is that button just look at here add cat and is the name add cat so we are going to directly target that name inside here so we said if condition if is set dollar underscore post add yeah so now i'm going to explain this function from here so just look at here if condition and is set means means when someone click on this button then what should be happen okay so that should be happen inside this if condition okay so first of all i am going to target we need to get this element when someone enters something here so we need to catch this one so how can you catch that text field so just come back here again and see the name of that uh, input field cat name okay so we are going to create one variable here cat name equal to dollar underscore post cat name and we are going to use your post method just because our uh, oh man just because our form is uh, our form method is post so for for that reason we are going to use here post method okay so now i'm going to create one query here like uh, add cat equal to dollar con just because our connection variable is con prepare statement here inside that prepare statement we are going to execute the one insert query insert into cat our table name is cat and values then this bracket okay so first of all we are going to add that uh, name which is coming from here we need to add that one inside this cat name field okay so we are going to target that cat name here cat underscore name and here we are going to directly target that variable which is bring our uh, name coming from here okay 
so that name is cat name here also available variable so we are going to directly target that variable from here okay now i'm going to use if condition if this query is executed then what should be happen so first of all add execute then what should be happen here okay so we said echo first of all we need to get the uh, alert message which is coming with the category added successfully or not okay so i'm going to use the alert function from here and say category added success fully okay and now we also need one another variable to redirect that page after category add okay so we must need to add that uh, so window dot open then bracket first condition second condition self and our page name is index dot php question mark get we need to redirect that user again same again on the same page so just look at here index.php question mark cat okay so now what should be happen if our query is not run so i'm going to come back here copy this one from here paste that one from here category added to category not added successfully okay so our function is ready to run but we need to declare that function into our cat page so i am going to here create our php tag and then i am going to include oh not include sorry echo directly add cat function okay so just look at here we need to directly call that function with name is add cat we need to add uh, call that function from here so now let's check our output what should be coming from here so I'm going to here development at category category not added successfully, which means something is missing from here. Cat name at cat. Okay, let's just check at cat cat name. All right, cat name. So I'm going to check it from here. Cat uh, table name is cat and cat name. Yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, all are fine. So why it's not adding? Let's refresh and try it again. Development at category. Okay, category not added successfully. What if? Let's check our connection file. I'm going to check that connection file. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a different connection file. Just look at here. Our uh, database name is YouTube eLearning, and here is why eLearn. Okay. So now let's try it again. Refresh that one. Development at category category not added successfully. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Just look at here. We make a mistake here. Here is not coming underscore. Okay, same name. Okay. Now I think definitely it should be done here. Development at category. Okay, just look at here. Just look at here. Category added successfully. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Let's check out from here. Okay, so just look at here. Development is coming from here. Let's add some more categories from here. Mm, design. Design. Okay, okay, just look at this now. Design is added successfully. Okay. So now we need to also check that one. If category is already available into the database and someone again need uh, again try to enter development. So that's that time we need to stop user that and we need to give the message like uh, category already added. Just like that, just look at here. I'm going to add this one again. So just look at here. Just look at here. Development is added again, but we don't we need to stop this one from here. So I'm going to delete this one from here. Come back again from here inside our uh, if condition and here I'm going to create one another query with the check equal to dollar con then prepare statement then i'm going to come back here double quote select 
स्टार फ्रॉम कैट वेर कैट नेम इक्वल टू डॉलर कैट नेम ओके इन ग्रो एक्सपेंड इज क्वेरी फ्रॉम यर जस्ट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई नीड टू राइट दैट वन फ्रॉम यर ओके सेट फिच मोड इज आर पीडियो फिच as so okay now i'm going to execute that query from here like check execute okay now i'm going to count that uh, query from here like uh, count equal to dollar check row count we need to count that row which is coming from here this is coming from here now we need to count that one if if someone add again try to development so that time it will be check the row count is check that variable is coming or not so i'm going to again start on if condition and say if count double equal to 1 then give the message otherwise in else condition we need to get that query Cut it from here. Add that query from here. Okay. So if that query, uh, that category is already available, that time we need to give the message like uh, copy this one from here, paste this one from here, and we need to say that category. all already added okay so now let's check now let's check come back again from here i'm going to again try first of all i need to change like uh, add one more category marketing okay and so let's look at this now category added successfully okay Now I'm going to again add that development. So just look at here. We have the message with the category already added. Okay, when we click on this OK button, just look at here. Not added again. Again, I'm going to try that development. So just look at here. Category already added. Now let's try with the marketing. Yeah, here is the marketing. Add that one. So just look at here. Category already added. Okay, and. Check again from here. So yes, nothing is coming from here. So I think, guys, this is enough for today. If you guys are like my videos and like and share my videos, and if you have any question in your mind, then comment below. And don't forget to subscribe my YouTube channel. Just because you need to learn something new from here, so you need to press the subscribe button and also hit the bell icon. Okay, and share with your friends. and guys please support me to do something new we will do something new okay so we will meet you in next tutorial thanks a lot for watching stay tuned goodbye